thanks for watching this video on the integration between V Realize Network Insight and VMware Identity Manager. My name is Martijn Smit and I'm a technical product manager for Network Insight within VMware. And I'm going to take you through the configuration steps for this integration today. Starting uh, VUNI 4.1, we have an integration with uh, VMware Identity Manager or VADM. And uh, VDM is a part of the, uh, the Workspace ONE suite, uh, which quickly and easily provisions applications towards users. It applies uh, conditional access controls and it enables secure single sign-on to either SaaS, web, cloud, and native applications. And VRNI is going to be one of those applications. So in order to generate a single sign-on experience towards all the VMware products, we can integrate with VDM. All right, so I'm currently logged in as an administrator. And if we go to the settings page, we will see a new identity and access management uh, the menu here. And we can access the VDM configuration page. All right, so let's, let's have a look at what's needed. The only thing that we need is a VMware Identity Manager appliance. This is going to be the host name or the FQDN of the, uh, the VDM. Then we need to generate a uh, client ID and a client secret. All right, so in order to get these information, we need to jump in into VDM. So let's do this. Right now, I'm also logged in as a administrator in VDM. And if we go to the catalog and then the settings, uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, give a remote app access towards VDM so they can use it for authentication. And we need to create a new client. All right, so we want to choose a service client token and we want to give it a name. So I'm just going to make an easy one if you're an I, a name and then add the client. So when it's doing this, it will generate a shared secret. So we need to copy and paste this into Network Insight. So let's head back there. So first off, client secret, and then we've got the client ID, which we just filled out. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit and get the hosting here and press submit. All right, so this, this is the integration part. It's checked whether it's uh, it's got access and it's all fine. And now the only thing that we need to do in VRNI is give actual users from VRDM access to VRNI. So if I go to user management, you will see a new tab here called VRDM users, and we can add a user. And we're just gonna uh, fill out the dom domain name, and then we're gonna um, uh, find the group that we wanna give access. I just want to make it easy and I want to give everyone in the domain access. And uh, we can choose whether we want to create them access as a member or as an administrator. Uh, I'm going to keep it as member right now. Um, and then uh, add the user here. All right, so we've got a entitlement here now as the role member. So let's let me jump back to a incognito tab because this is it. And let me refresh this one because the, uh, the, um, the options have changed. Because I can now log in via VMware Identity Manager. Or if you want, you can still log in as local users. But let's see how this looks. So now I will be redirected to VDM. As you can see here, this is the VDM login console, let me log in myself, and then authenticate, and then you get sent back to VR9, and you get logged in. All right, so now we can see I'm logged in as my own user, and if I check at the settings tab, um, I should have a restricted view, so no data sources, no whatever. All right, this is good. Okay, so this is the only thing that we need to do to integrate VDM and uh, VRNI. Thank you for watching.